Reddit by Reddit recap. What's normal during the day but creepy as duck at night? Garages creep me tf out at night. Brains half dead and I read that as grapes. I'm kinda a burly dude. So basically anything I do at night makes people uncomfortable. It might be a combination of the pole dancing, the sequins, and being in the senator's bedroom without them knowing. There's something about flying a kite at night that's so unwholesome. Flew a kite while lightly tripping on acid at a deserted beach and island under a cloudless full moon. It's one of my most precious memories. A C. Oof. I actually got chills at the thought. On fields. Seriously. I saw children of the corn at a younger age than I should have because my parents didn't care. I can't stand them in the daytime. Night. Anxiety attack. Looking out the window. Yup, IDKY I do it and I always hope I don't see someone staring into it. Like that shot on Halloween with Michael staring from the outside near the clotheslines. Hate IT. Hospitals. Not bad enough that it's where people go to die. Whenever I go there at night, I feel like I'm going to be dissected. Until the two hours in the waiting room kick in. My Alexa randomly saying I'm sorry, I do not understand. Goat blood has been added to your shopping list. Someone knocking at your door. My brother-in-law once had a cop knock on his door at 3am. He opened it and asked immediately who died. The cop was shocked, and just wanted to let him know that his neighbor had seen someone steal the flag off his flagpole. But the culprit was long gone. The cop didn't seem to understand why my bill would have preferred he'd waited until the morning to share that news. People wearing sunglasses. There's 106 miles to Chicago. We've got a full tank of gas. Half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark out. And we're wearing sunglasses. Setting on my deck with no lights on. Smoking a cigarette. I scared the shit out of my neighbor one night when she went to check her mail. Which in itself is creepy. Small child's laughter. We heard our two year old belly laughing on the monitor at 3am one time and I swear it was the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me. I mean is it ever not creepy when a baby belly laughs on its own in daytime? It can get creepy, I usually chalk it up to something the sibling did, but at night in his own room, duck no. Hiking without flashlights, a couple friends and I went on a night hike in some local hills, creepiest experience ever. If the ghost stories and satanic cult legends weren't enough, you had the constant threat of mountain lions with nothing but moonlight to light your way. But why? Why would you ever do that? I'll understand a bit if there weren't mountain lions. But if there are, why on earth would you do that? My chair where all of my laundry sits because I'm too lazy to put it away. Once. My sleep deprivation induced hallucinations had me convinced that the laundry pile on my couch was some sort of demon. I swear it was moving. Gardening. I don't know about anyone else but I wouldn't want to look outside at 2am and see Susan planting tulips. Mirrors. I hate rooms with big mirror closet right next to bed. Hearing Goofy say hi up while you're peacefully sleeping. I'll duck and do it again. Furby, like, their eyes glow and scare the shit out of me. Now those things are creepy during the day too. I live up the hill from a public park. During the day, it's normal and pleasant to hear kids playing. But when I hear voices and the squeak of swings in the middle of the night, it gives me chills. The man, walking behind a woman, creepy for her. Awkward for me cause I don't want her to think that I'm gonna do something bad to her. One time when I was in college I borrowed a textbook from a friend. She lived in a confusing apartment complex that had access to all the apartments along the front of the building through different staircases I was standing in the parking lot assessing my approach. And just when I figured out how to, to get to her door to drop off the textbook her roommate walked into the parking lot and headed to their apartment. I ended up following her up the convoluted route of stairs directly to her door. She was fiddling with her keys, visibly terrified and trying to get into the apartment when I asked, Hey can you give this textbook to Leah? That was the most scared, and then relieved, I have ever seen a woman and I feel terrible about it to this day. And my cat stares at random way and then starts suspiciously moaning. 
I was woken up at night by my cat next to my bed and hissing at the corner of the room. Safe to say I was pretty ducking spooked. This happened to me once, except it was my dog barking at my open closet with her hackles raised at 3 o'clock in the morning. Scared the crap out of me I woke my boyfriend up to check what it was and when he turned on the lights she stopped barking. Didn't sleep all that night after that lol. Bathroom door creaking open in the middle of the night. Been happening ever since I got a Raji board for Christmas in 2018 I used it and now every night there's footsteps to my room. Then they stop for a second then they go to the bathroom that 6 feet from my door then I hear the door open and close but when I get up no one's in there and the door's still open. Dude eat that Ouija board PLS. A ringing doorbell, but it freaks me out during the day, too, because I hate unannounced visitors. Hiking. Walking through the wilderness at night is basically a found footage horror movie if you have a light, but is somehow still even worse if you don't. Digging holes. My neighbor dug all his tile drains in the middle of the night because it was a really hot summer and during the day it was really windy and the dust from the backhoe was blowing all over his house. He would go out and dig at night because the wind would die down. Still looked suspicious as duck though. An ice cream truck driving slowly through your neighborhood with the music on. Hearing your letterbox on your door have something inserted into it. Definitely not the mailman. That's for sure. Not any less creepy if it is the mailman. Walking outside alone. When I go outside at night I'm usually with people. I would always hear horror stories about walking outside alone at night so that's why I never do it. Swimming in a lake or other natural body of water. The ocean. During the day it's bright blue endless adventure. At night it's murky black depth that consumes all. Chainsaw. Schools are too ducking eerie at night. Username checks out. Taking the trash out. Beware of the hash slinging slasher. Going up a flight of stairs in your house. Yeah I feel like a hand will grab the back of my foot or sometimes I wait for someone to scream very loud right behind me. I'm very afraid of the night and my thoughts haunt me. Corridors with no natural light sources in big houses. Or in a school. Like when it's winter and you get out of detention at 5pm so it's dark outside and the school is empty. Singing children. Maybe not so normal during the day but creepy ASF at night nevertheless. Jackets hanging over chairs. Being alone in an empty house. Basement. Isn't that always scary though? Strong winds on the window pane. Going for a walk or run. Especially if you're in a hoodie or just generally dark clothing. Going down the stairs when everyone is asleep. Having a door salesman at your door. If you hear a swing set at night I don't know why but that creeps me out. Especially if there is nobody out. In my hometown we had a woman pushing her dead toddler in a swing alone in a park during the middle of the night. A creepy but sad af. She had some kind of mental break I believe. The toddler was alive when she started swinging him hours before and died of dehydration and hypothermia. That makes swing sets even more creepy to me. Best comment of the day. My past workplace. I worked at a small old clinic as a part time night security guard. Pretty boring yes, but the pay was pretty good, and I don't like interacting with other people. I did get calls, and transferred them to a nurse or doctor, if they are available. I was told to wake them up by repeatedly calling slash pinging. There was this one time, where there was a sudden power outage, that caused most things in the clinic to turn off, and activate the emergency generators. The clinic's generators didn't power the regular lights only the red emergency lights that were scattered around inside the building. So in short, the whole place was pretty dark with red lights lighting the whole inside. That itself is pretty damn creepy. The other thing is, I worked alone. So yeah it turned to being really creepy to really scary, when I heard a low moan slash crying type sound echoing from the other side of the clinic where the emergency rooms would be. 
There's this story, that someone died in one of those rooms a long time ago. At first I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me, because I could have swore I saw smiling shadow bolt away. I started panicking, and fled to the back offices, and as I reached them the front main doors started being battered, like someone was desperately trying to get in. I think I stayed crouched under an office desk for around half an hour, before mustering up my courage and just go. At that point the sun was coming up a little bit, so that helped me. I exited the offices, and went to the main lobby and what I saw, left me terrified frozen in place. The door that led into the emergency rooms was open, and propped open with a door stop. Then came the echoing footsteps from the back end of the emergency rooms, they were getting louder I knew it was coming to me, to the main lobby. I could not move I was utterly scared out of my wits. The figure came. Yeah it turned out to be a doctor. No one told me we were having a patient stay over in one of the rooms as a precaution to breathing problems. The main doors trying to open was the doctor because he was worried about the patient and used a bit more force to try to get my attention. He only had a key to a side door and not the main doors which is how he got in. The low moaning slash crying sound was the patient who was actually crying. They apparently heard the story too, and was scared they were going to die in there. Now the smiling shadow, 